Hey Bruce, this is Alex, trying to do a part two for a video review for you on your Pendleton safe. Um, this time I want to show the new pistol shelf that you made. Let me show you what has been the standard this whole time and what I showed last time. Previously, this is a half shelf, and you can see that there's nine large standard pistol slots per half, 18 for a full circle. What Bruce did this time was, because as I showed in the other video, there were some small pistols and revolvers that would slip right through. So what Bruce did is he created a shelf where now there are eight of those large standard slots and there are seven of the new small slots interspaced in between each large slot. So let me show you. So Bruce first sent me a prototype and we worked through it and I gave him some feedback he took into account and he made a wonderful pistol shelf. So here's your standard shelf, no need to go into this anymore. Here's the new small slot. You'll notice it looks a little bit different because some of the adjustments that we made were so that this new small slot, as I will show you, can also hold a lot of the compact or even in some cases full-size pistols and revolvers that this large slot can also hold so that you have a lot of interchangeability and choice in where you put your handgun collection. That way, as you'll see, you're not stuck thinking to yourself, hmm, my handgun collection is a lot of large handguns, therefore I'm going to run out of large slots and have way too many small slots, or vice versa the other way around. So let's start with revolvers. We're going to go small to big. Here's my grandfather's little 22 that I showed in the last video does not fit. But let me show you that it actually does now fit in the small slot, because all that matters in the small slot is that this front width can catch the cylinder. It's this dimension right here. You don't really care about anything here, all right? Now let me show you something that does fit in the large slot, but can also fit in the small slot. Here is a Russian model 1895 Nagant revolver. Because of the slender part here, it can still fit through here. This does not matter, because as long as it's wider than this, that's all you care about. So as you can see, it fits right through here just fine. Now what won't work is if you have some revolvers that are full size where the hand grip area is really wide. So I have my fiance's Ruger single six and 22 right here. As you can see it's got a very wide base. That's actually what's going to stop it from fitting through the small hole right here. So the small slot cannot take this and it's all based on this. So pretty much most revolvers it's only going to be dependent on the size of the hand grip area whether or not it can fit through the rear area of the small slot. Moving on to pistols here I have my car MK9, which I showed last time, did not fit the large slot because the overall length from front to back is what matters for pistols. As you can see, it would fall right through here, not very stable. But in the new slot, not a problem. It stays just fine. Let's move to something slightly larger. Here is a Polish P64 in Makarov again. Fits right through, not a problem. And it's just long enough to actually fit the large slot. So you have two choices on that one. Moving on to another option. We have a Russian Makarov pistol right here. So Soviet made. It also fits right through the small slot. And everything, including this one, does fit the large slot. Let's go a little bit larger. Let's take my fiance's Ruger SR9C. It's a double stack 9mm. It also fits right into the small slot. Lots and lots of options for what can fit here. Again, all you need to focus on for pistols is the overall length being enough to get it to fit, and then all you have to focus on is what is the size of the hand grip area. It has to be narrow enough to fit the width, and the length of it moving into the trigger guard area, depending on how wide it is, has to be short enough that will also fit this elongated rear. So with that being stated in mind, let me show you two things that one fits, one does not fit. Here is a full-size government model 1911 with a rail in 45. Because 1911s are single stack, this will actually even fit the small slot. 
you wouldn't believe it. A full-size, five-inch, government model 1911 does fit the small slot. Now, what doesn't fit the small slot? Something that you normally would think would be a smaller pistol. Here's a 9mm CZ-75. It's because of the double stack 16 round magazine here that actually you're going to see it's a little too wide, just barely so. That is what does not fit right here. It kind of gets stuck right around there. Also, if I could shove this through all the way, it gets in, but it's going to be a tight fit. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but as you can see, again, all that matters here is the width. It's all in the width and then the length from front to back from here to there, so long as this isn't too long, and if you have a wide trigger guard, you might have to take that into account. So as you can see, with this new pistol shelf that Bruce made, you have a small slot and a large slot, and the versatility of the two means that regardless of if you have a handgun collection biased towards a lot of larger handguns, or one biased towards a lot of smaller ones, you're much, much, much less likely to run out of one kind of slot versus the other, and I think overall your net capacity will be greatly increased from the 9 slots on the original to the 8 plus 7 for a total of 15 on a half on the new shelf. So thank you so much Bruce for letting me play a part in helping you make a brand new shelf for your system and I wish you the best.